Hello, my name is John Murray. I am owner and CEO of SermaStore.com, and we're proud to announce this month that we are releasing our Serma AC treatment. Uh, just a short overview of what Serma AC will do for your air conditioning system. Uh, in over the last three years, we've done numerous tests, uh, both here in Texas and in our testing facility in Phoenix, Arizona, on home and, and car air conditioning systems. But basically what this system is going to do is protect your air conditioning pump as well as enhance the cooling effects of the uh, air conditioner. How it does that is by absorbing all moisture in the system and turning that into a lubricant as well as treating all the metal parts in, inside the system to help them achieve a better heat transfer. So what are the advantages of Serma? Longer life on your air conditioning system. Colder air conditioning so it cycles less. Better heat transfer. Uh, on a home air conditioner, what we've noticed and what's been shown to happen is shorter cycling to achieve the inside desired temperature. That's achieved by greater thermal transfer on both coils. It's shown to achieve a, a energy savings due to that fact. It's also shown to revive and restore original operation of the compressor and the coil uh, solenoids. Uh, this unit was tested in Phoenix, Arizona for over two and a half years on home air conditioning and yielded an average of about 20 to 30 percent in energy savings. So. We highly recommend giving it a shot. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact somebody at Serma Store, contact Serma Tech Line anytime, and we can answer any questions you have. All right, and until then, thank you very much, and continue to enjoy all Serma products. Hello, my name is John Murray. I'm with the Serma Store. Uh, I'm here to show you how to use the Serma AC system. Uh, this is how the package will arrive to you. It comes in a can uh, with a, this is a starter pack here, so it will come with the applicator uh, and the multi-dose treatment. This is the one we have here. My camera will follow me over to the desk. We'll go ahead and show you what we got going here. Come on down to the desk as well. And, all right. Let's go ahead and open this package up, and this is how you should receive it. If you do not receive it properly, you need to call technical service. What should be included in the kit, the original kit, is one hose with the 134 adapter, okay, and a blow-off preventer attached to that hose. Uh, there should be no damage on the hose. Now, depending on the kit that you ordered, you will receive a multi-dose, which is approximately 70, not 65 cc's of product that will uh, do multiple treatments. If you've ordered a single dose for a car, you're going to receive a single co dose cartridge. And what we're going to do with this, we'll go ahead and show you how it's to be applied. Now this, this application is for 134A only. So what we're going to do is that each unit comes with a black tip on it. As you can see there, these are twist offs. We're going to twist that off counterclockwise, remove it, and then each end is threaded. The blow off preventer has threads here, so we're going to start this and thread it up. When you're threading these, be very careful that you don't over tighten. All we want to do is bring it all the way down to the bottom where it seats, and then snug it about an eighth of a turn. Not too tight, it doesn't need to be tight. There's no pressure on it. Okay. On the first application, what you want to do in every syringe on a starter kit comes with extra product in it. So you're actually getting free product to purge the line. This line requires about 5 cc. So we're going to take this now that's connected and apply pressure to the plunger until we see product come out at the inside of the connector here. That gets all the air out of the line. Okay, now that I've seen product and 
product is there, we can take this and apply it to a car. Now we're going to show you, we're not going to start the car to do this, but if my cameraman will follow me over here to one of our test vehicles, we're going to try and show you. Basically all we're going to do is take this unit, we're going to find, uh, locate our high, high side and low side of the air conditioner. On this one, it's, on all cars, it's going to be the larger of the two connectors. Or, I'm sorry, the smaller of the two. It will only connect to the low side. It will not connect to the high side. So what we do is remove the cap and expose the connector. Basically what we've done is we've located the low side adapter for the 134. And it's located here if I can get a zoom in. And right next to that is the high side on a Chevrolet. Okay, we're not going to connect to the high side. The adapter would not connect to it under any circumstances. It would not go. So we're not concerned with that. We're looking for the one that our adapter will slide onto, like so. Okay, that's going to be your low side. Now, word of caution: you cannot charge this unit while it's sitting idle. It has to be started to be charged. But I'm going to go ahead and make my connection anyhow. We've connected. All we do is push down. While we're pulling up on this, push down on the unit. It'll connect. It's not going to come off. It's not going to leak. Now, once we were to start the car, turn on the air conditioning to full blast, meaning full air, full cold. Once you achieve that, and you can hear the air conditioning pump running, uh, then you can connect and apply. To apply our product, you hold the syringe in an upright position. You grasp the pressure backflow pressure unit with one hand. Take your palm and you would push in with the other palm. And as you see, I cannot push this in. It's not going to go in whatsoever until I start the vehicle. So let's, let's stop now. I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle and then we'll show you that. So we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. I've gone ahead and started the car. I put the AC on to full blast. I turned the air, the fan to high and as cold as it will go. We're still connected as we connected when it was not running. So now what we're going to do is every car about this size, this is an average size car, takes 10 cc's of product to do a proper charge. So on the bottle here, we can actually see it. It's 60 milliliters, 50 milliliters, 40 milliliters. We're going to push this syringe down to 50 milliliters. So we're going to press and push and it takes a second. It's, it's not going to happen instantaneously. You can stop if you have to and wait. We put in five cc's. We can wait a second. All right. And then apply the rest of the five cc's. Okay, so we've hit 50 cc's on the marker here. So then we've just treated this car. Now we've done a total of 10 cc's for this application. Now, even with the car running, reach down to remove it. And if you can see, I push down with my thumb and I pull up with my fingers and let it release. And it releases quite easily. It's not a big thing. Uh, no matter what you do, you always want to replace your caps. Make sure the seals are in them. Replace them and snug them up. Don't tighten them, just snug them. All right, and that applies to both the low side and the high side. Make sure you get the hoses back, or the seals back on them. Okay, and we snug them, don't tighten them. If you happen to not have the caps, you need to buy the caps, because a lot of times these systems will have small leaks, and if you don't cap them, they'll continually leak out, the, out your Freon. Now, that's basically how we do that. At this point, you've got a multiple dose. So what we want to do at this point is you can't draw what's in here back, but we can protect it. But what we're done, we're done now. So we're going to go ahead and release this. Okay. And it will drip a little bit, so have a little rag. We're going to release this. And if you'll, if we're going to cut away and then I'll come back to you here and I'll show you how to store this. Product. Okay. So we're back now. When you're storing the unit, when you're done with this, what you need to do is take the black cap and reapply it. Not too tight, just snug. That's all it takes. Snug it down. You can pull back a little on there and snug that down and put that back away in a safe place. 
generally a safe place would be the Surma AC container. That way we don't break it, hit it, or have it leak somewhere. Now when it comes to the hose, very important because this hose has got product in the line. So what we're going to do is just basically wipe it down and I suggest putting it into a Ziploc bag and putting it away somewhere where you'll remember where it is. Uh, it's a good idea maybe to wrap the end with, uh, with a napkin or a towel to make sure that while it's leaking it's not getting everywhere in the bag. Okay. Uh, now, very important, when we're treating an air conditioner on a car, we just treated a car here, the car was fully charged and fully operational. If you are treating a car that has gone through a vacuum and is waiting to be charged, then you would not, and I repeat, you would not use this applicator, the multi-dose. If you were to apply this to a vacuum system, the second you connected it, it would suck all of this into that second system. So do not use this when you're doing a full system vacuum and, and refill. What you'd use is a 10cc syringe. Uh, and then you would actually just connect it the same way we just did. The only difference is the second you connected it, it would vacuum this into the system and then you'd proceed with your Freon fill from there and it would work basically exactly the same. All right. So if you run into any problems, if you have any questions, of course feel free to call the CERMA hotline. The CERMA hotline is at 310-617-5757. Uh, we're available 24-7 to help you. If in doubt, please call. If you don't understand what we've shown you here or the processes we've gone through, call first. If you still don't understand it, we will recommend that you hire a professional to apply the product. If after you've received a starter kit and you need more product, both the multi-dose and the single-dose syringes are available online uh, for a for a reduced price over what you paid for the kit, of course. Uh, so that's pretty much the extent of it. It's a very simple procedure. Anybody can do this. But again, if you have questions or concerns, the best thing to do is call. Again, 310-617-5757. And or visit the thesermastore.com and we'll go be there to help you get this all worked out. Thank you very much.